visit Lima, capital of Peru, and home to more land cafes than I have ever seen. So where I'm from, there is no land cafes. Like in the Netherlands, there is not even a single one. This mall has like 10 land cafes. There's a lot of them. Getting your own PC and internet connection, it can be like a little bit too expensive. Yeah. You put a land cafe and you put PCs. And people will come. Most people come. Look at the puppy quotes in Spanish. I only play in GeForce GTX. <laughs> I, I wonder if he said that in Spanish. I don't think Puppy speaks Spanish. I got, I remember like uh, as a kid, I would just beg my dad to go to a LAN cafe and I would watch people play Dota 1. Not everybody trusts a kid to handle a computer, especially back then. It was like, they were real expensive. So if I missed up, it's like, so it was just let me watch. And I spent hours watching like any game, you know? If you look at like the computers, you can tell that they're not high end PCs. No. Like 30 FPS. But they're good enough to play Dota. I mean, yeah, you get used to it, that's the thing. I miss it. You know? I mean, that lineup's not looking too hot, let me tell you that. Do you have any strategy specific? Solo piquea lo que quieren, lo que divierte. I think that's, that's the right way to do it. Yeah, that's the Land Cafe Live, you know? He's got a... Land Cafe Live. Keep going. So we're at a, at a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a Land Cafe in the gas station? Yeah. I don't know, why is it like a building? They've got like this shield thing here too. It's, that's their logo, but I don't know what it's called, right? Why do they have it blocked? I don't know, that's why it's hard to, to find them. Yeah, no kidding. Go inside? Yeah. Oh, wow. They have a stream live as well. Yes. These chairs, by the way, are a lot more comfy. Yeah. I heard international. Yeah, it's, it's talking about you. You're recognized. The problem is that he likes to play Ricky as a carry, not as a supporter. Ah, that explains the yeah, like the defusal say. without boots, huh? Yeah. Puta madre, puta madre. I think my friends got it. <laughs> Do you play? You play with the three of you often? Yeah, almost every day. Are you gonna play the whole night? Like, do you have an I end time when you go to yeah, to like cafe? Three more, three more hours. Three more hours? Yeah. You're here for like, the, this is your evening? Exactly. And what did you do earlier today? Was it like after work? No, today is Saturday. Nobody, nobody's working. Today is not Saturday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday, right? <laughs> I, I, I thought it was. <laughs> what yeah. are we going to do next? I mean, we've seen like the $1 places. It was like kind of a medium one. And now we can go to like a different one. It was kind of more high end. I don't know where we're going, by the way. So this is a... I mean, it's this one, right? Oh, is it here? Oh, yeah, this is it. Factory. This cafe already doesn't feel like a cafe. Wow. This is very different. You can see there's a lot more Dota here too. Yes. The fact that South America now has its own qualifiers, mm -hmm. did that change a lot for the professional scene? Oh uh, yeah, of course a lot. Like just by playing against better teams, you get better. And then when you play against these top teams and you see Poppy in real life, some guy like, you know, it's one of TI. You're like, oh wow, this is real Dota. This is high skill Dota, and it, it creates this drive in people to like get better. That's why South America is much better than it was a couple of years ago. Just by playing, you get better. What are some of the struggles that you've experienced for the professional Dota 2 scene here in South America? Uh, of course, the ping disadvantage. I you know I've had really bad PCs. I played 30 <laughs> FPS, 170 ping for like yeah. three years or something. You know, it's gotten better, but it still was like. Huge field, yeah. So you're here the whole day playing Dota. What do you do when you get hungry? This place is really unhealthy, but it's really good. Looks like a popular place as well. Yeah, they got really good milkshakes. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. Voy a darme una salchipapa para llevar. Y un milkshake de lucuma. What is the name of the purple juice? Chicha morada. Morada means purple. And chicha means? The name of the thing. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was really cool seeing a very different culture than what I'm used to for, for gaming, anyway. Quite unique. Very unique, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for, uh, for showing me around Lima, Peru. My pleasure.